Today we continue our practice with writing expressions, equations, and then solving those equations to find some missing values. So today we're talking about pictures on their phones. Isabel has half as many as Brittany. So the first one we need to know is Brittany. So we're going to say let P equal number of pictures Brittany has. And then we know that Isabel has half as many. So that means we're going to take that P and we're going to divide it in half. Remember, we are in seventh grade, so you should know how to write that. And P divided by 2 is the number of pictures uh, Isabel has. And then finally, Capone has 51 more than Isabel. So we go back, and Isabel has P divided by 2. So we're going to start with that, P divided by 2. And Capone has 51 more. More means add 51. And that equals the number of pictures that Capone has. Now, it does say that we need to write four expressions, and it tells us how many they have all together. So our final let statement is going to be to find the total. We've got an expression for each person. I know we find a total by adding them together. So there's each person's and then our pictures, and that equals the total number of pictures. Okay, so moving right along, here of course is our fourth expression written using a let statement. Okay, now we're going to solve an equation. We haven't written that equation yet. Always remember that we write an equation by setting the total equal to the total. So that means the expression I wrote is p plus p divided by 2 plus p divided by 2 plus 51 equals, and they gave us the total number of pictures as 579. First thing I know I need to do is to combine like terms. So I keep anything that has a variable together, anything that doesn't on its own. All my boxes are already together. This should look very familiar. Another practice just like yesterday's, or the last warm-up, I should say. So I know this p divided by 2, p divided by 2, or half p, half p, that reveals a whole one. So we've got p plus p, that's 2p plus 51 equals 579. We've got a simple two-step equation. The opposite of plus 51 is minus 51, both sides, to keep it balanced. Uh, these two are going to cancel. I'm left with 2p. It was 579 minus 51. Well, 9 minus 1 is 8. 57 minus 5 is 2. So that's going to be 528. Divide both sides by 2. And I know that P is going to equal, well, 2 goes into 5 twice with 1 left over. 2 goes into 12 6 times. 2 goes into 8 4 times. So P is going to equal 264. And I still have to figure out how many pictures each person has. So I'm going to remind myself at the top that P equals 200. Whoops. I do that so often. So sorry if it confuses you, but make sure you keep following along. P equals 264. So I know I've got Brittany, Isabel, and Capone. The expression for Brittany is P, and I know that P equals 264. That's a simple substitute in, 264 pictures. That's what Brittany has. The expression that we wrote for Isabel was P divided by 2. And P still equals 264. So 264 divided by 2. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 6 three times. 2 goes into 4 
two times. So it's 132 pictures for Isabel. And then the expression for Capone was P divided by 2 plus 51. P still equals 264. Substitute in 264 divided by 2 plus 51. Half of 264 is 132. I add 51 to that. 132 plus 50 is 182. Plus one more is 183 pictures.